It would be a massive understatement to say that California is full of free camping options. It's arguably the best state in the lower 48 in terms of geographic diversity and sheer volume of free camping possibilities. In this video, I'll be sharing many of the highest rated, five-star reviewed camping options from the Campendium community. And you're not gonna believe that these are all free. Whether you're looking for epic oceanside views, high altitude pine forests, or dry desert landscapes, California is unsurpassed for free and wild off-grid camping options. Just remember, please pack out everything that you pack in, including small bits of trash, bullet casings, and especially use toilet paper. Thank you. Kicking it off, we have the most reviewed free camping area with an average of 4.3 stars. It's Joshua Tree South Dispersed Camping. The most recent review is from Flojo Fleetwood who said, we really liked it here and would definitely stay again. Very quiet and the sunsets were amazing. Sassy reported, Great BLM location at the south entrance of Joshua Tree National Park. We can barely see I-10 and cannot hear anything, so quiet. Campers are not close to each other. Most sites have fire rings, surrounded by mountains. Some sites are very sandy, so be watchful. We are 60 feet total and had no problems finding a spot. We'll definitely stay here again. The Instagram famous Alabama Hills Recreation Area is the second most reviewed free camping option in California with an average rating of 4.8 stars. I've been coming here for over five years and it has exploded with all kinds of visitors from Subaru tent campers on up to full-sized touring coaches full of international travelers. Best to avoid this spot if you have agoraphobia. On the other hand, Tammy's review in January said, this place is a boondocker's dream. So many great choices to park your RV or tent camper. The views of Mount Whitney are spectacular. Larry said, the Sierras are beautiful. Western films have been shot here by the dozens since 1930. I was just around the corner from Lone Ranger Canyon. The beauty is indescribable and the vastness is overwhelming. South of there in the Mojave Desert is the Sawtooth Canyon Campground. Paul B. 87 is one of many reviewers who said, beautiful desert getaway, beautiful desert light and shadows, large sights, no ATVs, hiking is awesome, and if you rock climb, you'll love it here. Sue reported, starry nights, perfect weather, beautiful scenery, it was our second time here. We hadn't planned to spend a week, but it was so perfect we couldn't leave. Another favorite boondocking spot is literally the hottest place on earth in Death Valley where the highest ambient air temperature was ever recorded at 134 degrees Fahrenheit. The pads, as it's known, is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Dozens of concrete pads way out in the Mojave Desert. Lee Grisham summed it up perfectly in his review. He said, this is an old mining town that was raised when Congress changed the laws relating to mining in national parks. All that is left are foundation pads where the homes originally resided. Many excellent spots to choose from and conveniently located just outside the eastern entrance to Death Valley. The night sky viewing here is outstanding. And Hal said, great location, dispersed camping, Better campsite than overflow at Furnace Creek. No shade, so pick your time of year to visit wisely. Another old mining hotspot turned popular RV camping area is American Girl Mine Road Dispersed Camping. Jameson reported, amazing weather. Stayed out for almost two weeks, super beautiful. It's desert, but I think it's amazing. JL Puber reported, beautiful spot. We spent three nights here. There were quite a few others, but there's so much space. Great place to spend a few nights near Yuma, right off of I-8. If desert camping just isn't your thing, consider heading up to the Sierra Nevada mountains. Keysville North Recreation Site is next to Lake Isabella in the Sierra Mountains. 
This area is featured on the Campanium 360 channel linked above, where you can take a virtual drive through with 360 degree views to get the full effect. Just traveling through reported, first free site we stayed at and we were probably spoiled. Easy to get into, plenty of space, quite a few shady and flat areas. We stayed by the river where most people seem to stay, although it didn't feel busy. Vault toilet was fine and bins to get rid of trash. Further north in the Sierras near Mammoth Lakes, you'll find Glass Creek Campground. Dudu Bang Bang reported, clean and quiet. Very clean vault restrooms, no water, but the highway rest area is a couple miles away. Glass Creek runs through the campground. So many rainbow trout can be found there, so bring a fishing pole. Down from there on Highway 395 is the Owens River Road Dispersed Camping. Nathaniel Reger reviewed this spot saying, wonderful dispersed area close to Mammoth. This is one of those better dispersed camping areas I've been to. There's a huge network of roads to travel around and many pullouts and different spots to camp on. The area is clean and even on 4th of July, it was possible to find your own private space. And the last free camping area I'll mention in this video is over on the central coast north of Paso Robles. It's the Williams Hill Recreation Area. Carzilla reported, nice stop right off the 101. Free camping is rare to find and this one is a gem. Jay Swant said, by far my favorite. This place is amazing. The higher you go, the bit more uncomfortable it gets because you're literally driving on the edge of a mountain. The fog at night was very thick, almost like being in the clouds. I loved it. The campground has a very clean outhouse stocked with toilet paper. Each site had a picnic table with quite a few trees and fire pits. All these spots are just a small sample of what California's public lands have to offer. There are just so many more incredible and free camping options to find on your own at Campendium.com where you can even sort by the highest rated and most reviewed free spots available. Thanks so much for tuning in and until the next time, stay safe, be respectful, and enjoy the journey.